Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my Hello my kings and queens, welcome back to my channel, Goddess of Whispers. It's your girl Karen and I am so excited to welcome my Tauruses back to my channel. If you are a night watcher, welcome to our royal family. I do want to let you know this is a general love reading. This reading may or may not resonate with all of my kings and queens, so take what does resonate and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements, or you can check out the playlist for this channel. Also, the energies or the roles in my readings may be interchangeable, so apply yourself as you see fit. Don't forget, if this reading does resonate, don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, and click the bell to get future notifications when your girl will be uploading another video. By you clicking, liking, and sharing, and subscribing, it helps the channel out so, so much, and thank you in advance for your support as it helps to circulate the video, and you never know who can use this week's message. Also, too, guys, as you know, my Tauruses, your weekly does come with an extended. In the extended, we dive deeper into the message, so what we don't uncover in the first half of the reading we may uncover in the second half of the reading which is the extended there's two links down below one is a membership option so for that same five dollars you'll be able to access all zodiac sign readings down there in the extended you'll be able to check out all the extendeds down there okay binge watch if you want to um, also too there's a separate link that one's just a one-time payment of five dollars if you choose not to want to be a member um, you'll be able to access uh, whatever reading resonated with you and you can check out that extended let's dive in Let's see what your energies is surrounding you this week. Spirit, what's the energy surrounding my Tauruses this week? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus to the highest light for the purest good. Help me to deliver a clean and pure message for my Tauruses. Show me what it is that I need to see in regards to the collective that is watching. Show me what I need to see. What is the energy surrounding this reading this week? What is it that they need to know? Clarify, clarify, clarify. What's the energy? We're needing six cards to get started. What's the energy spirit? What's the energy surrounding my Tauruses this week? Clarify, clarify, clarify. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's the energy here? What's the energy? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. What are the energies it's surrounding? What's the energy here? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Two more. Two more. What's the energy here? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get one more card. One more card. What's the energy surrounding my Tauruses this week? Thank you, thank you, thank you. At the bottom of the deck, we have realization, okay? So let's dive into these energies, my Taurus, and see what's going on. The first card we have is assessing. Isn't this, the, the artwork on this deck is absolutely stunning. This deck is called Queen of the Moon Oracle, for those of you who would like to know. I'm getting those questions a lot in the uh, comment section. The next one is serenity, okay, is the next card here. We also have, let's see what else came out here. We have the attraction card as the next card. We also have discernment here as well, okay? Then we have extremes, okay? And then last but not least, we have the trust card. So there is a lot going on here um, with my Tauruses this week. Different dynamic from the last two weeks. So the energy that I'm picking up on this week, whoever this situation is for, um, it's definitely a strong energy about trusting your intuition when it comes to a situation. Overall, this is about judging a situation wisely, you know, looking very carefully at a situation, maybe viewing it um, the bigger picture here maybe there's something that you're missing something that you're not seeing here whatever this is though it is causing you high anxiety you know with this extremes card it's causing you conflict here you know a disruption in your patterns as well maybe something is not as it seems here in this situation okay i'm seeing here you in your strength and in your power here this is all about needing strength in this situation maybe the willpower to do something say something you know or acknowledge something so take that as it resonates maybe needing to make a change in your life here we won't know until we dive deeper into the reading with the attraction card here this is not so much a card meaning being physically attracted to someone this is about wanting to attract good energy into your life and leaving behind negativity you're no longer wanting to be in a space of someone or something that is draining your um energy or 
relinquishing you of what is serving your highest good is the energy that's coming through here. Now we do have at the end here the trust card. This is all about trusting yourself, you know, being confident and planning your future, releasing doubts, you know, no longer wanting to give someone the time, someone or something the time of day, but also to teaching someone how to love you. Right now, you could be very vulnerable right now because you are going through a lot of emotions, okay? So take it as it resonates. You know, with the extremes card here, this is definitely a card all about, you know, going through these types of extremes, feeling that high anxiety here. This reminds me of the nine of swords. You know, for some of you, you could be, you know, staying up at night or someone here. And keep in mind, guys, I could be picking up on the energy of your person. So take that into consideration or the cross watcher. So take it that into consideration as well. But someone here is definitely in this energy of feeling like they can't sleep at night. They are, you are on their mind or they are on your mind. Someone here is having difficulties even maybe moving on. I am definitely seeing here someone is definitely praying about it, reading scriptures, things of that nature, you know, needing a sign of hope. But with the realization card here as well, this is all about, you know, looking within, self-examining, um, self-introspection here, okay? You know, looking at the situation from a different angle, okay? Or looking at your role in the situation situation. Remember, it takes two in a relationship. You know, uh, one of the things that my um, grandmother always used to say, there's three sides to a story, your side, their side, and the truth. So take that as it resonates, okay? But nonetheless, this is definitely with the realization card. Someone here is having an epiphany or will be having an epiphany moment here, you know, realizing, you know, where they stand in the situation or what they need to do. But with this assessing card, you're definitely assessing something from afar, you know, or viewing something maybe someone's watching you or you're watching them maybe or assessing a situation doesn't necessarily has to be a romantic situation okay this could be a job or whatever the case may be it could even be maybe a family member or a friend but nonetheless let's dive in let's see what energies are surrounding you we're actually going to use this deck to do so what energies is surrounding my Tauruses this week sun moon rising and venus to the highest light for the purest good Tell me more about the situation. Oh, look what's coming out here. We have the nine of pentacles and then we have the six of wands. Okay, interesting energies. Could be dealing with a um, earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's your energy. So the nine of pentacles is all about being single right now. So you could be single right now with the six of wands. Um, that is an energy of um, fire energy. So um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Bear with me, guys, while I gather my thoughts. Spirit, what other energies are surrounding my Tauruses? Last shuffle, last shuffle, last shuffle. What other energies is here? Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we have the five of wands yeah look at that that fell right under the neg um the attraction card you know releasing negativity here there could have been some confliction here this could even men mean mental confliction or maybe you're feeling like there's some type of comp competition here the seven of pentacles fell under the discernment card we have the eight of wands and then we have the five of pentacles so someone here is feeling alone Okay, someone here is feeling like they are abandoned in the situation is the energy that I'm seeing here. We do have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So you could have been dealing with someone in air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra here. Whenever I see this energy, this is someone who is very cold, someone who's very detached. So this person could have ghosted you or maybe you ghosted them. You know, this King of Swords is someone who is also very intelligent, very strategic in situations as well. Okay, um, this person is like structure in situation, but for Dan I'm sure they're very head over heart okay so take that as it resonates this person is very self-disciplined when it comes to situations okay and they can keep their cool very easily for some of you this could be an absent father in your life maybe someone that you have a child with but they're not in your lives as they should be right now that's some of you not all of you so take it as it resonates okay um let's see what other energies is here okay so we got the three of swords you know we have here the three of swords and then we have the hermit card so with this energy here whoever this is a king of swords energy i feel like either you broke their heart or they broke your heart okay so take it as it resonates with this three of swords three of swords is all about mourning a loss grief heartbreak for some of you divorce so take it as it resonates we have the hermit card someone took a break from the relationship this is about taking time away from chaos taking time away from a situation that you feel has become too heightened so you're taking time to self soul search self-reflect figure things out as far as what your next move is or what you're wanting to do so at this time i'm definitely seeing a strong energy 
energy of no communication between you and this person. Whoever this is that is in air energy, this King of Swords energy that is coming through in the reading. So let's dive in a little bit further here, okay? So this Nine of Pentacles energy is definitely a singles energy. This is all about working on yourself, figuring things out you know, within yourself, maybe working on your finances, your money, your coin, you know, maybe starting a new business here, you know, starting a new job, getting a new promotion. This is all about working on you, you know, but so, this could also be your energy. Maybe you're assessing things from afar, you know, seeing where the spirit guides guide you or lead you. Okay. We do have here the six of wands energy. This is about being in your power, being happy again. So this could definitely be an energy of you in this energy. The six of wands is all about a victory here. Okay. It could even mean something one who has very high ego so this could be you or this could be your person's energy but we're going to clarify further so this is all about you know being in the spotlight you know taking a moment to you know d definitely be in your glory here okay uh, we have here the five of wands so strong energy of conflict chaos you know arguments mental conflict it could even mean too at this point competition maybe there was some competition here um you know maybe someone brought third parties into the situation so take it as it resonates but definitely a strong energy of arguments chaos and conflict okay we have here the seven of pentacles under the discernment so this is all about taking your time be patient in the situation maybe hold off before you make a big decision maybe you need to look at this the bigger picture here look at it from on all angles here the discernment card is all about judging a situation wisely okay when it comes down to it we have here the eight of wands so someone here is up if i feel like with this eight of wands energy this could mean someone's at the brink to break Meaning someone here is ready to have a communication. They cannot take the silence any longer. They need to speak to you. It's at that extreme here. Or it could definitely mean somebody is at least wanting that. Okay. So take it as it resonates as well. Okay. We have here the five of um, wands here. And the eight of, eight of Wands is all about travel. So this person could be wanting to travel towards you or come in towards you. It's all about accelerated motion. It's movement, okay? We have here the Five of Pentacles. Strong energy. Someone here is definitely feeling left out in the cold. Someone here is feeling abandoned by someone, you know, in this situation. But nonetheless, someone is very broke hearted, broken hearted by the situation. Let's clarify further, okay? Let's draw, let's close out this expense. Oh, look at that. We got the High Priestess that's wanting to come out here, okay? Okay, with the nine of pentacles so the spirit guys is letting me know there's definitely this is an um a situation where you're following your intuition okay maybe some secrets came out here um between you and your person and you know this is you following your intuition intuition in this situation in this matter clarify further the six of wands the five of wands the seven of pentacles the eight of wands and the five of pentacles clarify the energy here clarify clarify further okay what is wanting to come out here we got the five of cups we got the Six of Cups. We got the King of Pentacles. Interesting energies coming out. Clarify further. What are the energies is coming through here? Clarify, clarify, clarify. Clarify the, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we have the, the Two of Cups. Yeah, this is someone about to break. This is someone wanting to come in and speak their truth. We have the Two of Cups falling over the Eight of Wands. That's all about coming in, weighing out your options here. There's a Two of Pentacles that's wanting to sh that's showing out there. Someone is weighing out their options. At the bottom of the deck, we got that Five of Wands showing up here. Chaos, conflict. This could also mean they're somebody wanting to come in and fight for the situation. Ooh, I was just saying that, honey. Somebody wanting to come in and fight for the situation. Look what we got. The Five of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. Somebody's wanting to come back and now fight for this situation, okay? I don't, but they feel like you will not accept their offer, okay? Because right after that is the Four of Pentacles. This person feels like you won't accept their offer, okay? Because you could be very cold towards them, maybe in this Nine of Wands energy. That's not what's here, but I'm sensing Nine of Wands energy, you know, just being resilient in the situation, you know, being very guarded in the situation. So so they could feel like right now you won't accept their offer. And that's the, that's the energy here that is coming through, okay? So we have here as well, we have the nine of pentacles. Sorry about that. That was my Google, <laughs> my Google hub. Are you talking? But anyway, so we have the nine of pentacles. 
clarified by the high priestess over the assessing card so very strong energy of you finding things out in a situation but also to following your intuition so something here made you feel like your partner was keeping something from you or maybe not telling you something you know but you dug deep within you followed your gut feeling here because right now this is a situation where you are single in this situation okay you know and standing your ground when it comes to that we have here the six of wands here okay followed by the um serenity card so this is all about power and strength here which is definitely needed because we have the five of cups this is a strong energy here of you know being in a space of mourning a loss grief you know going through some type of depression you know you could be focused here on everything you're lost but i feel like also too you're missing out on certain opportunities as well because you're so focused on what you've lost in this connection strong energy you could have been dealing with the water sign pisces cancer scorpio and with the wands energy fire energy so aries leo or or a Sagittarius okay so take that as it resonates but I'm definitely seeing someone needs is trying to build strength here in the situation or have already built strength and now is in the six of wands energy okay so we have here um over the five of wands is the six of cups so this card is all about you know looking into the past this could be nostalgia so you could be in your head this could be mental conflicts thinking about the past here okay with the attract will it falling over the attraction card this is a strong energy here of maybe you're in this space of needing to release the negativity of the situation or you could at least just be contemplating it so you are in a space of mental conflict right now not knowing what to do about someone from your past okay is the energy this could also mean um reconciliation someone wanting to come back in and reconcile with you we have the king of pentacles here okay with the discernment card in this over the seven of pentacles so strongly this is your energy earth energy here towards virgo capricorn so i feel like you know with this energy here this could be you maybe patiently waiting for someone to return to you so take that as it resonates here because it fell right over the discernment card which is all about looking carefully or taking your time to judge a situation so you could be constantly contemplating reconciliation with this person or maybe this is what this person is wanting from you but i definitely see something is work in the works here on the horizon because right after that we have the eight of wands clarified by the two of clubs two of cups over the extremes card this person is on the brink to break so this could be you or this could be your person but someone here wants to rekindle the flame with this two of cups energy this is a strong energy of kindred spirits you know someone here wanting to come in and make you some type of offer or a proposal in love matters this is about communication so if they have, haven't been any communication for some time this person is constant is, is thinking about it at this point someone is having a hard time right now that could be you or that could be them so take it as it resonates we have here the five of pentacles clarified by the two of the two of pentacles so very strongly your energy here so this could be you weighing out your options as far as what you what is it that you're wanting to do maybe this person left you out in the cold maybe you are wanting this communication from someone that you truly love okay but this could also be your person thinking in this retrospect so take that as it resonates as well but i'm definitely seeing this reading is very strongly about reconciliation okay so take that as it res resonates we're going to dive deeper into this energy and see what exactly is transpiring here i want to know more about this king of swords energy i'm actually going to place it on the board from now because we have the king of swords the hermit and the eight of swords here so definitely strong energy here of you know this person could be feeling heartbroken by you or maybe you're feeling heartbroken broken by them okay we have here as well on the, the other deck we had the five of wands the ten of cups and then we have the nine of cups as well and then after that was the ace of cups very strong energy here of you know someone here wanting to reconcile in the situation someone is missing this dynamic of being happy okay so i'm definitely sensing a strong energy this person could be wanting to come in and now fight for the situation so we're going to clarify all this in the extended till next time my tauruses Bye. I guess you're back. Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply.